Welcome back to more Doraemon Story of Seasons, Friends of the Great Kingdom, everybody. So in the last episode, we were here in this, um, or I don't know why I say in this. We've been in summer. We have a lot of progress to make, you know, in terms of building friendships with people and all that good stuff. So we're slowly getting there, but it is taking a while with some people, as you know. One of the things that people were in fact telling me is, yes, go ahead and do Copper Ore, because like, what the hell, you know? Oh, I befriended Big G. Which I guess I should be doing uh, Copper Ore. I'll just bring like a bunch of it and start gifting it to people, I suppose. Um, just because it does make sense to, you know, go for that. But at the same time, like, I mean, I'm going to be in the first floor anyway, like, mining there. So, I feel like, you know, because I'm going to be mining there to try and get the metal scrap, like, it might actually be my best interest to, um just stay mining on the first floor and gather a bunch of material stone while I'm at it while I try to get that metal scrap. So that's what I'm trying to do, but we'll see what happens with all that. Okay, see it still only does three, so it might actually cover more than just in front of me now. I don't know. Oh, there's the, uh, the melons, or watermelons are done. That's good. That actually is very good. Okay, let's, um, let's take these. Harvest eight types of crops. Oh, nice. We're getting there. We're gonna take all of these. Okay, so I talked to, what, Sue, Doraemon, Sneech, and Big G, so I guess I'm missing all of the new people. Um, for example, you. I know you're like that. Here's Leaf. Leaf was actually probably sitting at the table and I just totally missed him once again. Okay, Pip is gonna be up there. Let me actually ship these watermelons. 260 a piece. Okay. And then Loomis is right there too. I'll give that to you. We will take this, like always, a bee's nest. And then, um, no, you're already done. There we go. So all we're missing now is, I think, Luana. Who's usually down here. Yep, there we go. Exactly. Alright, now we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna do that, and then we're also going to brush you. Yeah, getting French with your horse is so slow. Like, so incredibly slow. Here's a flower, we'll take the flower. Iris. I love that song, by the way. Iris is one of my favorite songs of all time. Did you all know that? I don't know, I feel like I have mentioned it in like previous videos. Like, not in this series, I'm just speaking in general. Like, if any of you have actually watched any of my other series, more than likely I've mentioned that before. But yeah, so I saw some weeds here. Or one weed. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Let's just ship that one weed and that too. Yeah, we're gonna put this some um, honey back in there, I guess. Um, I guess we'll also take out a bunch of copper or just in case I decide to yeah, I, I mean I probably should start giving them as gifts to people, I have so much copper ore, like it's crazy. Just how much of it I have. I mean like, I know that everybody like, likes it at least, or like it's a neutral gift. Cause I don't think in these games there's like hated gifts, I'm pretty sure there's not. I'm not sure. There you go, you can take that. Okay, off to the next one. We're just going in order here. Just to see how much we can accomplish. Okay, well here's... Gogmir. We're gonna give that to you. Then the diner is over here. Poppy. 
And then Garrett over here. There you go, perfect. Now we're gonna have to go down... Yeah, we'll go down here first. Oh look, Gomer's actually sitting on the bench? When have I seen that? I like never see people sit on the bench out here. Here's a shell, that's some extra cash right there. Okay, so over here we have... Okay. This guy. I'm guessing Ori is gonna be in the, um, in the clinic. Which would actually make sense. There you go, take that. So nobody's going up in hearts today. Well, Big G did, but I mean, aside from Big G, who wasn't really important to get up there in hearts, there hasn't really been anybody. Hmm. I actually don't know why I went this way. No idea. I mean, I guess there's stuff to forage, but I'm not really too interested in that. Let's just get out of here. At least I found a shell. <laughs> That's something. Alright, so we have to go into the clinic. And then we have to go... Up to the top. Let's also check here. Wait, today's a... Yeah, today's a festival from 20 to 22. Okay. Um, so... Iron ore? Actually, they both want iron ore. So if I take nine iron ore... That actually is not a bad idea. I think we're gonna do that, actually. Here, take all your damn copper ores. No, no, no. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk to you. And there's Aiden and Stacy. We're gonna be up here eating. Yep, they're breakfast. There you go. Yeah, because Golgamir is actually like right here. So if I can go back really fast, I mean, if I can make it back by 10, he'll probably still be there, which is perfect. I have to go withdraw nine iron ore. And I have to give it to Pip. I'm going right now. Not only does it give me like a good cash flow, but like it gives me friendship with them, which is always nice, of course. Okay, we're gonna put that in there, then we're gonna come over here. We're gonna take. You know, let's just take the whole damn thing. I don't care. Pip. Are you not here, Pip? Where's Pip? He's in Chitter Chirp Woods. What in the world? Okay. It just seems so random. Actually, now that I think about it, why did I go around befriending people today? Like... If they're all gonna be at the festival tomorrow, then there was no need to do that, I just realized. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I mean, I'll nap to make a lot of them pass. There you go. Gave you your four. Got some cash out of that. I mean, I might as well just keep giving gifts to people then if, you know... Where are you at? Are you, did you leave? No, you're still in here. It says you're still in here. Because he usually leaves the house a little after 10, I think. Oh no, he's actually the one working here. Thank you. I have a fair amount of money. Oh, no, no, he's not the one. No, I can't today. No, because, it, no, it's on Tuesdays when they're closed. Yeah. Alright, we got three more people to come up to here. Hopefully, Pip is still up here. He is up here still. That's what it's showing as. So, uh, we gotta go find them then. There you go. Take that nice little copper ore right there. Oh look, another one of these. A bee's nest. Okay, I actually can't find Pip. Oh, because he went down to the plaza now. Oh my god. 
This pip is really hard to track sometimes. He really moves fast. Like, real fast. Okay, the last person is Bell. No, no, no. Even though I can do these things if I wanted to. Beehive is only 800. Put bees in the hive. Generate bees. Or generate honey. I'll think about this though. I mean, I'm going for tool upgrades mostly. And I guess stamina upgrades too. Uh, he's still in Castletown Plaza. Okay, so everybody has been given the gift today. Even Ghidori, who's, who I usually don't find until last in the mines. Okay, let me actually see. It says Castletown Plaza. Oh, there he is. Okay, perfect. There you go. Alright, so we're done here. All I'm gonna do now is go mining. So I'm gonna run over here. So I can get the warp going. Um, there's nothing else I can put in, so I'm just gonna have to... Uh, I guess I'll deposit both of those, sure. Quivering Peak. And again, I don't care about the trick because I didn't even bring somebody with me, my bad on that. Because apparently the highest odds to get metal scrap are like in the first floor? You still mostly get, um, copper ore and stone. There's one. But you occasionally do get the metal scrap, which isn't too rare. Usually it'd be in the higher floors, where you have a higher chance to get this stuff. Just hoping I can get some. Yeah, I should have brought a friend. Actually, can I just ask you to come with me? Yeah, like, what the hell? Come help me, dude. I unlocked it, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to actually keep mining this stuff here. <clears throat> I know I could have done the trick to just get the metal scrap, but... I actually don't mind getting a bunch of copper ore and material stone this time because I'm going to need them as gifts anyway. There's one. Ghidori actually found that one. There's another one. Right, so I got... Oh my god. Do I have five in total now? I do. I just got... F See? I told you all. This is like the, the normal raid. Last time I got unlucky getting only... Getting actually none. Because I got the metal scrap in like a very deep floor by luck. But I actually ended up getting none of them. Second floor, I think, has pretty low chances of metal scrap, so I don't think we're gonna get lucky here. But we'll see, you know, we'll see. There's another one, that's six. At my limit. I don't know, I'm getting there. Just trying to see. Okay. Let's go back up. We got a nap. So we're gonna nap until 19. That way I can spend a good solid hour mining here. Um, I think that's best because I have to actually nap until 20 o'clock. So, or sorry, at 20 o'clock is when the festival starts. I meant to say. So if I get myself a good solid in-game hour, that should be good enough. I made like 4,000 just now? Yeah, I did. That's actually crazy. Okay. That's some real good money. It's from all the watermelon and all the, um... Uh, the fossils. Okay, so I know he's hit some of these once already. So to conserve stamina, I may just want to, yeah, keep doing that. Nothing. Still nothing. Hit it. Copper ore. Okay. 
Let's keep going. It's 1930 now. Come on, help me, Ghidori. What are you doing? I have... Do I have six or seven? I have seven. Okay, I need only three more. If I can get just one more, the odds are so much easier that I can actually complete this tomorrow. Oh my god, it's almost about to be 20. Give me one more, please. There we go. Got it. Oh my god, I got two. I'm at nine. I'm at nine. Can I get one more? No, I'm not going to get it, huh? Oh, I got it. I actually got it. I'm at 10. That is amazing. A little too late now, though. I don't think I can trigger the cutscene this late at night. Um, anyway, I have to go into, yeah, Mingle Creek, so the easiest way is to just go down this way. Okay, I didn't see any bugs over there, that's fine. Uh, there's nothing to do here except just to talk to Gran, because... We've already... Well, I think it's Gran. I've already talked to everybody for today. Yeah, of course. Let's participate in the festival. I wonder if participating in festivals actually gives you friendship with the villagers. It'd be cool if it does, but I know only that's only in some Harvest Moon games. Yeah. Hey, Nobi, you came. Yep, I heard there would be a ton of fireflies. I'm so excited. Have you guys seen any yet? Not a single one. I bet they won't even show up. They most certainly will. I'd imagine they're just getting ready for their big debut. Yeah. It should be any minute now. The view is better by the river, though, so let's move there. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait any longer. Where are they? I heard there would be a lot, too, but how many will there actually be? Never counted, to be honest, but I assure you a lot isn't just something with someone exaggerating. And their dim glow reflecting over the water surface is quite the sight to behold. I hope they show up soon. When do they usually appear? They appear to be late this year. It shouldn't be more than a few minutes, though. Man, how long is this going to take? Come out already, you dumb fireflies. I suppose we won't see any tonight. Hmm. Maybe there just aren't enough fireflies this year. We may be out of luck after all. And we came all this way to... You're telling me. Well, you can't blame nature. This has been known to happen on occasion. I suppose it's just bad luck it happened this year. Hmm. Oh, better luck next year. Oh, what the heck? What is it, Mary? Over the pond, so they actually are appearing. So again, this specific holiday is triggered on the summer day 7 between 20 to 22, which would be equivalent of, um, that would be actually 8 to 10, which I think is actually the latest out of all the festivals, because most of them can be triggered from around 10 a.m., usually. That's when the person you have to talk to for the festival it will show up, and you just simply initiate a conversation with them, and that triggers it. I think there's another one later, um, I think it's the fireworks festival. That one is at 19 o'clock, which would be the equivalent to 7 p.m., There you go, so that was a, uh, that was a pretty short one, actually. Because the majority of, uh, you know, cutscenes and festivals, they have to do with, like, you, like, winning or, or at least participating in the festival. This one was just like a, hey, show up at this time and you get a cutscene, and, like, that's it. You do get a, a little check mark, so I believe if you, like, play this in other systems, that might be the equivalent of, like, an achievement or trophy or something. Something like that. Yeah. 
But on the Switch, where there's no, you know, trophy or achievement system, it doesn't really mean anything, I don't think. Like, these little, I guess, rewards or medals, whatever you call them. I don't know. Okay, so I have... Wait, so I need... It's copper ore, right, that I need? Yeah, copper ore and metal scrap. Okay. Well, I'm going to just, uh, yeah, wrap up this day here. Moving on into summer day 8th. I don't know why I said day 8th. Day 8. Or you can say the 8th of day. Not summer day 8th. Yeah, I made 4110. That's a lot of money. With this, I should now be able to get some of my tools upgraded. Because I do have rubies now, too. And the rubies do help. You need rubies to be able to get your tools to the next level upgrade. So, that's pretty good. Okay, how much... Yeah, I have 33 material stone, actually. That is, in fact, a lot. So, we're just going to try to, you know, talk to everybody today once again. Talk and give a gift. So, there's Sue and Doraemon. And here there's Sneech. Let's see if Luana or Loomis are down here. Usually one of them is. Not today, never mind. Okay. Looks like we're getting a scene here. Okay. Oh, it's the... <laughs> it's you again. Plumsworth. Mr. Plumsworth. Been working rather hard on the farm, and so I'm here with little. Oh, really? I believe that I'm gonna refer to this as the human locomotive. Okay, heavens, no. Okay, same. So we're just getting another, um, another gadget back. Okay, of course. Excellent. Now I have. Okay, perfect. Do keep up the good work. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I appreciate that very much. Let's take a look at how that works. The human locomotive, was that a... I think that was actually a thing in the other game. Wait, I'm trying to remember this. Okay, what does this do? We're gonna get a nice little tutorial here. Do you know how to use the human locomotive? Just put it on your head and you'll be able to move faster than normal. Although you won't be able to talk to people while you're wearing it or check your map. Oh, okay. Give it a try, you want to move the trees or reposition crops. What the hell? Let's say move faster than normal, can be used indefinitely from an item slot. Interesting. Okay, well let me first, you know, give gifts to all these people here. Yeah, take all of your building stone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, because I think I did use it a lot, actually, then. Um, let's go ahead and do... Yep, let's do... All this watering here. There we go. Okay, so how do I get to this? It's from... Yeah, from here. Well, let me... No. I'd like to give you a gift. So I think that's everybody except... Actually, no, not Leaf. Not Leaf. There you go. And you can... Oh, I went the wrong way. What am I doing? Okay. Let's see here. Oh yeah, look at that. This basically... Okay, how do you... Oh, you just like... I think... I think you could just like switch tools or something. And, and that should work. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'll give that to you. It's kind of cool, I guess. I mean... It sucks that a cutscene happens every time. Oh no, you just press B to remove. I see. Okay, so I totally missed Leaf. Where's Leaf? Wait, what the... Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Where is Leaf? Wait. One, two, three... You're in Roaring Caverns this early? 
Why are you enrolling cameras this early? That is so weird. Yeah, and you, and you do actually get to keep it. Um, that's interesting. Okay, I should put it somewhere, like, let's see, because these tools, I only ever, I rarely use them. So, I think what I actually want to do here... I'm going to put it right there between those two. And I think that should be fine. Alright, here we go. Gonna give you both of those, and then there's... I can switch out back to this. It does save a lot of time though, I mean, if you just, you know, keep using this. Actually, I didn't mean to go in there. Oh, she's actually walking around. I'm not gonna go there yet though, because Stacy's still asleep. So I'd rather not deal with that yet. But it does save a significant amount of time. But yeah, you do have to uh, remove it, you know? Okay, so I talked to both of them. Now I think we can go down this way. Now, can you pick up items? Um, that's one thing that... No, it said that you can't do... You can't interact with NPCs or, like, farm stuff as well. I don't think. We'll have to see just how much we can do with the human locomotive. I don't think we can do that much. Okay, so there's both of them done. Now we're gonna go, I guess we'll go into Roaring Caverns, I hope- Oh yeah, no, you can't uh, access your map, that's right. I hope that leaf is in here. You are in here. Hi, what are you doing here so early? Leaf is like never here this early. That is so weird. Oh wow. There's Godmere as well. Got your orange, Godmere, that's pretty good. Is that for you? Okay, so now I'm missing... I mean, yeah, I'm missing the clinic. Stacy... Ah, man. Why does Stacy have to be the only character in the game to be waking up at 9 a.m.? Like, what the hell? Because honestly, if she didn't do that, it would have actually been significantly easier to, um... create a pathway. Like, every day. I think they did it on purpose. To, like, mess you up. Go, go, go. Run all the way. Oh, look at that. Oliver is orange now. The characters are getting very close, actually. Like, very close. Okay, so I'm just missing, I think, just Ghidori, then. And, like, that's it. Well, I mean, obviously, aside from the clinic. Let me also go in here, I guess. Oh yeah, so the next festival is going to be on the 14th, Beetle Battles. Hmm. Okay, Pond Lodge, Gold Ore, Two Mug Ore. I'll do that one. I just gotta get a Gold Ore and then go to Ghidori. Should be easy enough to complete. Okay, so there's that for Mally. Then we have Aiden up here. And finally, uh, it's almost 9, so I'll just wait here a few seconds. I know it's creepy looking at somebody waiting for them to wake up, but that's how you gotta do it sometimes, you know? Hello, Stacy, please wake up. There you go. Okay, so it is time to, um, 
get out of here. We gotta go up to Ghidori. Oh, I didn't even see. Hold on. Where's Ghidori? He is up there. I kind of figured he would be. Because we have to get a gold orb. Man, this saves a lot of time, actually. Like, the fact that you can run this fast? Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna do... Yeah, just one. That's fine. And then here we're gonna go ahead and put... Those, actually, here I'm gonna put, um... That one there. Sure. Wait a minute. I thought it said... Oh wait, no, sorry, sorry. Sorry, it was Quivering Peak where I saw Big J. I was like, wait, did, wasn't he just in the mine? No, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, I'll give you your regular gift first. And then your gold ore. There you go. Perfect. So, with this, um... I'm just going to warp to the fairy up now. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that is what I'm going to do. Oh, I see. That's yeah, so when I have to go. Yeah, this can definitely mess things up a lot because basically your previous one is one that gets erased. Okay. Well, let's go in here. How do I do this? Hmm, actually, I'm going to need a little more than that, if it's not too much trouble. There you go. Got it all. There you are. Let's see now. Yes, yes, that should do it. What are you trying to do? Hmm, just wait and watch. What the heck? They're actually doing, like, construction down there or something. Everything okay down there? Hello? Whoa, what's going on? Ta-da! Nice to finally meet you in person. But let me to introduce myself. I'm the goddess of the fairy fount. Hmm? It's me, the voice. The, the, the one you helped. I'm the god. Oh, wow. Okay. Foira? What's with that face? Do you not believe me? I mean, are you really a goddess? Of course I am. You did see me rise above the water, didn't you? This is the fairy fountain. Shouldn't you be a fairy instead? Oh dear, people have forgotten about the goddess of fountain already? Anyway, you can pop out of water with one of Dorama's gadgets too, so if you're a goddess, what else can you do? What else? Well, let's see now. I can radiate with light. Thanks, you're gonna make me go blind. Okay, moving on. Anything else? You believed everything I said when I was just a voice. Why don't you believe me now? What will it take? Something mystical and goddess-like, I guess. Like, hmm... Wait, I have an idea. Do you have any crops on you? Crops like this one? That'll do. And there you go, a token of thanks. Oh, where'd that come from? Where indeed, but that's the power of a goddess for you. Hmm. That's not all, though. Take a step back if you would, please. Okay, everyone, come on out. Oh, it's Harvest Sprites. Are those fairies? We're free. The name's Pebble. I'm Tyrell, don't you forget it. Fret in here. Call me Thibble. Percy at your service. We're Harvest Sprites. Thanks for saving us, Nobi. Nice to meet you. So, the goddess lives with a bunch of fairies, so that's why it's called the Fairy Found. I see you finally believe me, but that aside, there's something I want to talk to you about. What do you do for a living, Nobi? A living? Well, I don't know if it counts, but I live out and work at a farm. That's perfect. What do you say, everyone? Think you'd be uh, up to helping Nobi with his farm? We do all for rescuing us, after all. If he's okay having us. Wait, do you really mean it? But of course. The Harvest Sprites are the hardest little workers we'll ever meet. I'm sure they'll be of great help. That's great. I think we'll get along just fine. That's good to know. Don't be disappointing him now. Right then, carry on everyone. As for me, it's well past time I help myself to a snack.
And she just left. Wait a sec, you mean you aren't going to pitching yourself? The very found soldier of God is if she isn't present at the surface, she may be inside the fountain. Toss an item as an offering to the fountain to see what happens. You can only toss one item per day. Do this enough times, you may get something special. Okay, so is this like the last character? I have to see this. And so we will be assisting you with your farm work. That's going to be a big help. But there's a lot of stuff to do on a farm. What can you guys do? Feed the cattle, take care of milking and shearing, feed the chickens, and collect the eggs. Oh, and we can water and harvest crops too, just about everything when it comes to farm work. We'll be at the fairy fountain, just let us know whenever you need our help. We can only help out for two days in a row though. Too much effort makes me sleepy. But after we get to know you better, we might be able to keep it that longer. That's the power of friendship, yay! Okay, thanks you guys. Just so you know, we won't go past noon. Whatever you need, we'll make short work of it. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Hmm. Talk to Spencer about Fairy Vow to ask them for help on the farm. They'll begin helping the following day from 6 to 12. The number of days a sprite will help you depends on their friendship level. Each sprite will handle different farm duties. Okay. Hmm. I see. So, friendship levels. Well, let's see here. Oh, more cutscenes? By the way, Nobi, we've been coming by lost items in the forest lately. Are they yours by any chance? Lost items? I don't remember losing anything. Like this? It's one of Doraemon's gadgets. See, I told you he was the one who dropped it. In that case, why don't we make a trade? A trade? We'll collect everything we come across, but there's something we'd like in exchange. For this, next time it stops working. You can find metal scrap in the mine, but we're too small to be able to use a pick. That's where you come in. We pick up all sorts of stuff, so let's help each other out. Just talk to us when you want to see what sort of stuff we found. I will, thanks. Speak to the Harvest Price of Fairy Found to exchange metal scrap for Doraemon's gadgets. You can get metal scrap for the mine. God dang it, I should never have sold metal scrap. I mean, then again, it did help me a lot with getting rich, because it sells for 100 a piece, so... It's actually pretty good. Okay, so... Are you all in here? Where are these freaking... Okay. Well, hold on a sec. Go to Mumu Lane. Oh, okay. I wonder if I even need to, like... Oh, okay, let's see here. What if I do this? Ta-da! How considerate of you. Thank you, Nobi. Be sure to visit me again. So you just toss in an item every day and, like, that's it? It says they're here. Am I missing something? How do I... What the hell? Dude, it literally... Oh, there they are. Okay, but hold on a sec. Oh, they're over here individually. I mean, I wonder if this is even like... Like, am I gonna get cutscenes from befriending the sprites? I mean, who knows really, who knows? Hmm... A gadget improves all two performance by one level, up to gold for an hour when turned on. The gadget reduces fatigue and increases stamina for two hours, don't forget to take actual breaks though. Oh, I see, so they're like... I mean, they're all inventory based. Flips have another for one hour. Put the suction cup on the body part to enlarge it for two hours. That sounds... Oh my god, I can already see the sick people thinking of stuff to do with that. Greatly improves your luck for three hours. The gadget is perfect for fishing. Speeds up the growth of any living thing. Various energy restoring items. Makes it early when you took on the cord. Plants to go farm restaurant. What the hell? Feeds to will turn into a come here cat that will attract residents for two hours. Burst into a bright flash of light with a loud bang that would spook anyone. Unbelievable bad luck for three hours makes it hard to fish. Why would I want that? Eat this festival little treat to leave uh, your body lit up for your holiday likes two days. Wow. Into a real deal watermelon. So they're all inventory based, meaning I don't really need to do this. I thought there were going to be like one-time things that I can purchase each or something, like important key items, but it's not. It's just in like... But hold on, do they all have different things? 
No, it's all the same stuff. Okay. Okay, so honestly, I don't know if I need to befriend these sprites. I have no idea. Um, they haven't appeared here on this section yet, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but we'll see. Um, let's go back into... We're gonna go into a specific farm. And then from here... Um, well, actually, I think what I want to do is use this. Because I would like to get those tool upgrades. Oh wait, there's a cutscene here too. I forgot about this. Moonling. It's it's actually a story based. Oi! Oh hey Sally, where have you been? Maybe she didn't hear me. Sally! Good grief, are the two of you trying to give me a heart attack? Sorry, we just thought you couldn't hear us. Are we interrupting something? Oh, sorry, I suppose I was just lost in my thoughts. And it looks like I managed to wander all the way back home while brooding. Something bothering you? But it's Mary. It's always something to do with Mary. That's usually a safe bet. Not today, though. No, the truth is, it's something I heard while visiting the next town over from ours. Ooh, is it something juicy? Come on, fill us in. I suppose I ought to, considering it could have some bearing on your farm. This has to do something with the farm? Well, now this is... Or, well, now, this is only heresy from the supplier in the next town over, but... It appears plant life around those parts isn't faring so well. In fact, it's shriveling up. Why is that? Well, that's the thing. You see, no one is certain. It's all been happening rather quickly. I wonder if it might be some sort of plant disease. That's what they believe as well. However, if it is a disease, it's unlike any other they've seen. You see, it isn't just crops but wild plants too. It's quite troubling, really. Yes, we'd definitely be in a world of trouble if the same were to happen here. Yeah, I'd hate to see our veggies and flowers shrivel up. The situation could be very well... Yeah, reach us though. What are we gonna do then? I don't want to lose all my hard work. Easy, Nobi. We don't know for certain that anything will happen. Right. Don't get ahead of myself. Exactly. Still, this is rather worrisome news all the same. Think there's anything we can do about it? I can't say without more details, but I don't know our neighboring town as well as Sally does. Hmm, perhaps we should consult some of our historic texts. A bunch of old books? What for? The situation is new to us, but there's a chance the experiences of our ancestors might help. It also wouldn't hurt to find someone who has books about our past. If we could just figure out who. Got any ideas? Not really, do you? If you don't, how would you expect me to? Because in the short time you've been here, you've made a lot of friends around town. You may very well know a few things about the council by now that I don't. Just give us some thought, okay? Hmm. Alright, I guess I can do that. Thanks. Okay, that was weird. Do we get more cutscenes unlocked right now, or do we have to wait until tomorrow? Let's see. Let's see. Oh no, we did get something updated. Talk to someone who loves old books. I mean, that would definitely be Luana. I don't see who else it could be. Uh, Luana is actually... Wait, hold on. What the hell? Did I just miss her? Uh... Hold on, I think I'm missing a... S what the hell? One, two, three, four, five, six. Why am I not... Wait, 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 wait I'm freaking blind. Oh yeah, down the... Oh, I didn't even expect to look in the bottom left corner. Sorry, I totally ignored that part of the map. For some reason. I don't know why I did that, but I did. I think I already looked here today. Yes, I did. Because that was... Yeah. That's right. That's right. Oh my god, my cat is next to me now. She's just chilling. Cat is usually quiet, but sometimes you can probably hear her meowing in the background. Okay, let's see. We can upgrade all of these except this. Oh, because you need four of those. Oh my god. That is like actually insane how much you need. Okay. So we only have three. We can do gold fishing rod. Um, I mean, I guess. I don't know. Is the gold fishing rod. Um, 
then we can do gold axe. Why not? Why not, right? Yeah, black word plus can mine with less effort. Suitable for mine is not suitable. Or suitable for miners is not suitable for miners. That's hilarious. Okay. So I have to get a bunch of that ruby. Damn. That actually might be a little difficult to, to get, you know? We'll have to see, though. Um, okay, so I gotta go talk to Luana then, it seems. Who was last in the Luster Cape. Let's run all the way through. Because I know we're getting up there in time, actually, so... We gotta be careful. Oh, Lord, look at this. What the hell? Can I, can I capture this thing on the... I can. It's a scorpion. Oh my god. Okay, are you still over here? You are. That scorpion was so random. Wait, are you at the... What the... Where did you... Are you freaking kidding me, dude? can't be serious. Stop running away so damn fast. There you are. Get over here, Luana. Um, sure. This might be the last cutscene we do in this video. Depending on how long these cutscenes take, we'll have to see. Concentrate with you pacing around like that. Cut it out. Sorry, I just don't have anything else to do. Now, would you make yourself useful? Flip through these books I haven't gone around to yet. This stuff is way too hard for me. Fine. Then would you at least sit still? Easy, you two. Luana, you're sure there's a record of something similar in these texts? Positive. But it didn't catch my interest at the time, so I can't remember any of the details. I wonder what this book was about. Say, was it about something called a demon's breath by any chance? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I've got it. Let's see, there it is, right here. There was but one occurrence that heralded the arrival of the demon's breath. The people spoke of a mass withering of all plant life before it struck. The abruptness of the tragedy caused much commotion and chaos. Oh yeah, now you mention it, Granny Smith told me something similar too. She said people thought it might have been because of science, but maybe it was because of demon's breath. Hard to say, the texts don't theorize on any causes or solutions, do they? Sadly, no. Seems they couldn't figure it out back then either. It sounds like things got rather chaotic when it happened. It's no wonder there's such a little info. That's unfortunate. So, uh, does this mean that the demon's breath is going to happen again? That would be a disaster. We better hurry and warn everyone. Would you settle down? What good would scaring everyone do? But Sally said plants and stuff are already dying in the next town over. Yes, but we don't know what that means, how widespread the problem is, or even what to do about it. There's nothing anyone can do right now. Besides, we don't even have any real proof that this could be connected to the demon's breath. It could very well be some other kind of affliction. I see, well that's a relief. Wait, no it isn't. Plants are still dying. We're doomed. Are you done yet? <laughs> but to be honest, something about that gives me a bad feeling too. What do you think, Loomis? I agree, and we know so little. What do we do then? I don't know anyone, anyone that has more of these old historic texts than me. Yeah, even if Luana's collection doesn't have an answer, I don't know what we can do. The way I see it, our best option would be to speak to someone who actually lived through it all. That would be ideal, but... Yeah. Ooh, Gran. It's impossible, of course. I suppose we'd better focus on more realistic possibilities. You think there's anything you could find out in the castle? Not really, unless my... Not unless my mother decides to cooperate. Looks like they've hit a dead end. I wish there was something I could do. But there's nobody in town that's old enough to have been around for Demon's Breath. Even, well, how old are we talking about? Would a grand be someone? Or is that too... Or is the demon's breath even too old for that? I don't know. Let's see. Completed. It's gonna update, right? I'm pretty sure it will. Yeah. 
Tuxedo has been around a long time. Well, okay, I guess... I guess it turns out that we can see another cutscene then. Because we're only at 50 minutes, so we still have the time to do this. Let's just run straight through. Yeah, I'd rather just get all these cutscenes out of the way, you know? Oh wait, hold on, where the hell... Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? You're telling me I wasted all that time? You're probably in the clinic then. God damn it, man. How come the one day when I actually wanted? Oh my god, I can't believe this. I'm guessing clinic. Yeah. No? I mean, if you're saying, guess if I was a bunch of, like, guess when they talk to them, what that mean? Oh, wait, but that means they don't age. Who doesn't age? Would it be the goddess? I mean, the only person I can genuinely think of would be the goddess, because, um... I mean, she's a goddess, you know? Like... I, I think it would have to be the, the goddess, then. Hmm. So no, we're talking about hundreds of years. I thought it was like maybe in the last, what, like freaking 60, 70 years ago. So I thought, oh, you know, Gran would have been, would have been really young at that time. But okay. Um, I guess we'll try the fairy fountain then. How do I... Oh, here you are. Um, can I ask you a weird question? Okay, we should still be able to do this under an hour. I don't think these cutscenes are going to be like that long. I mean, I can't imagine them being that long. Can I ask you a weird question? A weird question, nothing rude, I hope. Have you ever heard of the demon's breath? Yes, of course. Were you here back when I hit this place? I did live here at the time, yes. I knew it. I had a feeling you were the person I needed. But this was an incredibly long time ago, wasn't it? How old does that make you? Did you say something, Loomis? I don't believe I heard you quite clearly. Oh, never mind. Anyway, what, what do you ask? Well, you see... I see. We're seeing similar warning signs again. I wish I could offer more insight, but truth is, I don't know all that much about the demon's breath. No one did, even back then. Nobody knew how it had happened or what had caused it. No way. I'm sorry I can't be of more help, but what I can tell you though is this. The demon's breath did more than just spread decay and despair through the land. It also created a rift among the tribes when they fled their own ways, one that still persists. Hearing you say that only makes me wish we could do something even more. Fora, isn't, is there anything else you can remember? I wish there was, but... Hmm, actually... Is that emblem on your necklace to mark the Valoa Kingdom? Hmm? Oh, this, yeah. Ah, oh, I thought as much. As luck would have it, it just reminded me of someone you could speak to. Really, who? Well, many years ago, I happened to develop a friendship with an interesting gentleman, a scholar. He found this place after reading about it in the text stored at the castle. That's how we met. He would often tell me of all sorts of interesting stories, and he wore a necklace just like that. Talk about a coincidence. Just like this one. What was that scholar like? Let's see now, from what I remember, he was the kind, gentle sort. In fact, I dare say he reminded me very much of you, Lumis. Would you happen to know him? Just as I thought. This isn't any old necklace that just so happens to look like the one you remember. What do you mean? This necklace, it's the very same one you saw in your friend. He was the one who gave it to me. Were you family, then? That would explain the resemblance. Yes, he was my father. No way. Well, well. I'm sure of it. My grandfather always said I looked just like him when he was younger. I had no idea the two of you knew each other. We did. He asked me about the demon's breath as well. He was very interested in it. 
He probably knows much more about the demon's breath by now if he has access to all those texts. I see, he was researching it too. Say, Lumis, how is he? He used to come by here very often, but I haven't seen him in ages. Well, you see, Lumis's dad is actually... I see. Then is it possible he left behind notes of his findings that might be of help to you? It might be your best bet. Hmm. Ever since he passed, my mother has guarded all his possessions very closely, even from me. I wonder if she's hiding something from me. Loomis. Well, there's no point thinking about it out here. Maybe we should go talk to your mom. I'm not sure she'd even be willing to discuss the matter, let alone answer my questions. Well, you can't back down now. Remember how you stood up to help her or to help us? Besides, I'll be right there with you. Come on, let's go. Yes, maybe you're right. Thanks for the pap talk. Let's go see what mother knows about this. Sure thing. That's the spirit. See you later, Flora. Thanks for the tip. Okay, so we have to go to Loomis's mom. That is interesting. As Barry to present it to the queen. That's going to be for next time, but actually one thing I'm going to do in between episodes is I'm going to go mining, which means that I think I'm going to meet you all like very late. Um, for like very late tonight, like summer day 8. I say this because... Um, Actually, how much does it sell for? 145, not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna sell all that stuff there. I just think that I should do one trip at least off screen, mainly because I've actually already done like. Oh, hold on, I need to ask somebody for help. Leaf! Anybody? Leaf, do you wanna help me? Go together, yes. Yeah, I just feel like it'd be very helpful. Um. Because I really have to try to get more ruby so I can get more of these gold upgrades. So I'm gonna have to do this trick and abuse the, you know, this whole system thing again. So we'll have to see what I can do, but... Um, did I talk to you? Yeah, I talked to everybody. Alright, so I'm gonna end it here with the pickaxe. So, before this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.